today we're going to be doing my cassette collection. First up, the sealed Pearl Jam Versus. This was sealed and I played it once or twice. Let me show you everything. Here's, the, here's side one. This is the proper way to touch it, as you can see here. Here's side two. Looks really nice. I like to buy cassettes here. As you can see here. That's the full there. Here's this side. Oh yeah. That. That is awesome, man. Here's Rush. This is the 19... 87 reissue. Just the, I believe, the Columbia House edition. This is, I believe, the 80s. You can see here. Nothing too uh, fancy about it. No, nothing there. Nothing there. This is my Doors first album here on cassette, a nineteen seventy six reissue, not the original sixty seven, but seventy six. This one was sealed. Here is side one, as you can see here. Here is side two. There. Don't know if that one's where I'm at. And here is the thing here. You can see this one also has a fold out. Nothing, nothing there I see. You can see here. I believe is a U.S. first pressing of Van Halen's OUA 1 2. Gotta get this one on vinyl pretty soon. Here is side uh, 1. Nice and clean and shiny. As you can see here. Really looks good, man. Let me show you that. Pictures when I here's the pictures and here's the, the lyrics. Kind of cool that you have the lyrics with this. They started doing that at the end of cassettes to outdo the CDs, man. Still need to get me a better tape player to record these and turn them into CDs. Here's Concrete Blonde, Blonde Lettering, or Letting. Here's the original Hype sticker, as you can see here. Here is, I believe this is side two, if you can see that. Here is side one, really nice shape, XDR2, really like it. This one was also silver bought this on Amazon a long time ago. I don't know if it's first person or not. But Here's another one. It's just a plain case. 
This one's the great rock and roll love songs. I'm a sneeze. Here's side one. Here's side two. And it's on chrome tape. Here's another cassette. I had to repair myself because the foam pad was gone. Someone really wore this one out. Here is side one, side two, here we go. And the track listing is really mixed up. In the middle of the song, we got No More, No More, Big Ten Inch Record. Those two should be on side two, not side one. And side two, and first song is Sweet emotion, which should not be that. It should be big 10 inch record. This one is a 19, 1979 reissue of this one. Here's this cassette of this one's rare. As you can see here. This one is in pretty okay shape as you can see here. Here's side one. Here's side two. All the songs are remastered. This was a digital source album, not analog. Came from digital files back in 94. So here is inside this, if you can see this. You can, uh, there we go, that will be good. Now here's another one. This one here is a modern reissue of this album. This is Nirvana, Nevermind. The silver cassette. Looks very cheaply made though. Here is side one. Here is side two. And here is here are all of the pictures. Here is the other side. As you can see here. Pretty rare version of Scorpion's Love at Firsting, the censored version. Look at that. I gotta get this on vinyl. This is the Club 1972 pressing. This is a this was pressed in the pressing plant called Club 72 or Album 72 is what they call it if you look it up on Discogs. Here is side one, side two, oh yeah, you can see this was really a, you can see here, inside of here. This is an actual digital source album, this album was not on analog tape. If you look in the inside of the J card, it will even say Mastered Digitally. So this is the very first album, I would say, from the 80s that was mastered by a digital source, not an analog tape. Pretty cool, huh? is a club edition of Prince Purple Rain. I also have a first pressing on the vinyl record. I think it was done by Bernie Grumman. See there? This one was sealed 
The used one on eBay cost $100. This new one cost $24 for a new old stock press. And then we'll see. But here is side one. Here is side two. Looks a real nice shape. I like it. Here is the extra lettering here. And here is the rest of it here. If you can see here. Here's another club edition. This was the Night Rangers Greatest Hits, 1989. And this one was digitally mastered. So this one, what they did is they grabbed certain songs from the original master tape and put it on a digital file back in 1989. Can you believe that? Here is side one. Here is side two. Yeah. Here are the credits here. And here are the songs here. And the picture a lot better up close. This sounds pretty good. Got a lot of low end to it. Here's another club edition. This is an RCA club edition of 5150, which don't got a lot of bass to it. Wish these albums were remixed and remastered. There's side two. some more credits here. Here's the picture up close. Here's everything you need to know in here. Now we're going to get to two first pressings. Oh yeah. This one's a reissue and a first pressing. This one here is Duran Duran's debut album. This is a 1982 US first press on XDR. The original one has not the UK cover, it has the US cover with the yellow writing. So here it is. And of course this one has a factory defect, there is no leader there, exposed tape. As you can see here, this is all you get about XDR in capital. Here is the Peshmo Speak and Spell. This one here is a US first press, and this is the best sounding cassette I've ever heard. This one here was sailed from New York. Look at that. Silver Saver series. Super Saver. Then we got price back in the day in 1981. It cost $7.66. And how do you know that this is a U.S. first press? Just by looking at these rails right here. The tape rails. So you can see here, the tape rails are black. 
that's how you know you got a first pressing. And also, it doesn't talk about the DJ mixes of New Life and I Just Can't Get Enough. Which were released on the cassette, but not the vinyl record. Yeah. The best sound. The best sound. You can tell by, in the credits, by looking at it. It is not mentioned. The DJ mixes. Later pressings do. It has the all white, not the black and the white. So this is a US first press. Look for one that looks identical to mine. You'll be blown away if you get a good, nice tape of deck. I'm gonna be shocked, man. I'm gonna be shocked. Ram It Down by Judas Priest. Look at that. It's on a white cassette this time, not a clear one. 1988. This is when CDs were really becoming popular more than anything. Cassettes were a dying breed. In real nice shape though. I have listened to it on my Sony cassette. Deck, you know, well not deck, but Walkman from the 90s. This has little to no bass. The other ones, whew, if you listen to that first press like I told you, I showed you earlier, it would blow you away, man. It's just the tape. It plays a little bit too slow. I gotta fix that problem. Here are all the credits. And then you got even more. Here's a UK cassette that's very rare here in the US, but I managed to get one for my birthday. Hard Day's Night. A 19, uh, I think it's a 72 or 73 reissue of the cassette. <coughs> Let me show you how nice shape it is. This is from the early 70s, not the 80s, because in 1977, the UK dropped 8-track. They didn't have 8-tracks in 1987. They quit having them, or the US did. This is a UK press, and this is a lot earlier, so it's around at least 1976 to 1970 or 69. But I would say around 1972 would be this cassette. You can see, this is all you have here, and a little bit where it came from. They do sound good though. Nice low end to them, nice low end. Here's a, UK, a US cassette of Cindy Lauper. She's so unusual. This cassette had to repair. Rough shape. Had no foam pad. So I had to do a make a foam pad for it just to make it work. But as you can see here, here's side one. Side two. That looks nice, huh? Real nice sheet. And uh, this is all you have. 
No, no, no credits in here. It's just a thin piece of paper. This one I think is the first pressing because it has a lot of low end to it. Most of the time they don't. Here's another cassette I had to uh, repair. This one is a club edition of Out of the Blue by ELO. This one did have the foam pad but it fell out so I had to re super glue it. That's a good sign. This is an original 1977 U.S. club edition. It's an okay shape, not the, it's not the best. It's not the 1987 reissue with some clear cassette, but this one's the original one. Way too many songs, so this album will be fully compressed. I really wanted to show you how much songs you could fit on the cassette. If they ever do a reissue of this cassette, I hope they split it into two cassettes, like they do with the vinyl record, and the cassette might have better dynamic, dynamic range. And this is all they have. That's it. Nothing in the inside. Just tells you about it. That's it, man. Here's another Beatles cassette from the same year as the Hard Day's Night one. This is Beatles for Sale. This cassette's pretty in okay shape, I would say. Very shocking how a UK cassette is in real nice shape. I must not have really listened to cassettes. This one I didn't have to do any repairs to. Real nice shape. I like it. Here is the... As you can see here, here's the credits, here's the band. Here is the inside. Here is one that's this one came out, I think, this one year after the vinyl did. This is the 1976 pressing of The Eagles' Greatest Hits. That's a really cool thing, man. You can see someone really liked this cassette a lot. It's kind of yellowed. Must have been played in the car. It's in pretty okay shape. Does it sound worn out? But 1975 they released their greatest hits in 1976. They released it on cassette the next year. Pretty smart way to make money though. Now we get on to the real jam-packed cassette. Barry Manilow's greatest hits on cassette. This one's on a silver cassette, or gray, 1978, as you can see here. This one is just jam-packed with some of those. But this one's in a nice shape. Someone really, really played very well. You can see here, there's all the songs and credits. There's Barry, and there's the other credits there. Well, 
Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Please check out all my videos. Please check out the lawn cutting. All the videos. Someday if you want me to make silly fan videos or light bulb videos, I will do that someday when I move out. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Oh yeah.